Sean Diddy Combs now accused of drugging and raping a college student multiple times. This suit, just the second filed against Diddy in the past week. His latest accuser is April Lampro. She is accusing Diddy of drugging and raping her four times, beginning when she was a fashion student in New York City more than 20 years ago. And this comes after the disturbing video emerged showing Diddy viciously beating his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura in 2016. In a new statement this week, Ventura thanking everyone for their support, saying, quote, my only ask is that everyone open your heart to believing victims the first time. Diddy admitted to this brutal assault in an Instagram apology video after previously outright denying her claims. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. Here now to discuss these latest developments is News Nation National Security Analyst Tracy Walder, former FBI Special Agent and CIA Officer. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us on this. Thank you for having me, Natasha. Let's start with this latest lawsuit now. Uh, this is the eighth suit against Diddy since November. It is the seventh that accuses him of sexual assault. And she accuses Diddy of these four instances of sexual assault from the mid-90s to the early 2000s. What is your reaction to these latest allegations? Well, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not surprised. I think Ms. Ventura was extremely heroic and brave in terms of coming forward with her claims. And now that this video is out, I would imagine that some of his alleged victims may feel more comfortable and more empowered in coming forward. So I unfortunately think uh, that we may see more of these coming up. Let's talk about Cassie Ventura more because she is now responding to the video of her being violently assaulted by Diddy. She is saying that domestic violence, quote, broke me down to someone I never thought I would become. Of course, she's encouraging people to, to listen to the victims, believe the victims the first time. And her suit against Diddy has been settled. Could this video, could his admission mean anything for these other pending lawsuits now or the federal investigation surrounding him? I'm not sure how it will factor into the federal investigation, but I do think in some of these pending lawsuits, and I have said this all along, I do think that the release of this video will cause him to most likely settle those because now we have a pattern of behavior on camera and it is going to be very very difficult for him to to combat that any other narrative other than what's out there now now in terms of the federal case i believe uh, really a statement from miss allred actually uh, last week on your show when she talked about the idea that if there is a rico charge that's brought in and we could maybe look at some of this in terms of establishing a pattern of sex trafficking then potentially that could be factored into the federal case because for the most part um, there's a 10-year statute of limitations on adult um, sex trafficking but then there's even more so a longer statute of limitations with that RICO charge. Yeah, I appreciate you bringing that up again. And, and the entertainer, you know, he's yet to be formally charged with any crime at this point. But at this point, is there any way you think he could get off scot-free? You know, in my opinion, I go back to those initial raids actually on his, his two homes. Um, I believe that a federal judge is not going to sign off of those with complete absence of any evidence that a crime may have occurred. And so I do believe that he will not get off scot-free. Now, what that's going to be, I'm still not sure, although my gut says it has something to do with a, with a RICO charge, um, but I, I don't see him getting off scot-free. In terms of the sexual assaults, unfortunately, I do think that the statute of limitations has passed for the most part on those pending cases, which is, which is highly unfortunate. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.